Ladies and gentlemen, to present the John M. Ashbrook Award, please welcome Wayne LaPierre. Thank you. It's pretty rare to be blessed with the friendship of a living legend, but I've had that pleasure. I've known Roy Innes for 30 years, and I can tell you he's the real deal. He's an American hero. His story, his story should be taught in every school, and it should be admired by every patriot. He marched and worked with Dr. Martin Luther King to change our nation for the better. While many have tried to claim the mantle of Dr. King, only a few have truly followed and worked for the dream of a truly colorblind America. Roy is among the few who never used change as a cheap slogan of partisanship or departure from fundamental freedoms enshrined in the Constitution. For the last four decades, he served as chairman of the Congress of Racial Equality and has led that organization closer to the values of limited government and individual liberty that truly ensure equal opportunity for all. CORE now ranks as the most diverse civil rights organization in our nation, fighting for all Americans of all races. He's a strong voice for the Bill of Rights and the Second Amendment, and he's faced some of the harshest criticism I've ever seen from radicals and the media elites. But despite all the name calling and backstabbing, Roy has never lost his sense of humor He's never wavered, and he's never given back one inch of freedom's ground. I know him as a man of grace and power. You're just as likely to find him, find him taking in an opera at the Met as throwing jabs and slinging hooks in a boxing ring. He is truly a national treasure. Roy, you know, I can't put into words what our friendship has meant to me over the years or all that you have meant to our nation. But we can sure tonight celebrate you. So please join me in honoring a tireless champion of freedom, a patriot in every sense of the word, and an honest to goodness American legend, Mr. Roy Innes. Let me first thank the American Conservative Union and the John M. Ashbrook Center for Public Affairs for this award. I'm deeply grateful and deeply humbled. I'm particularly humbled by the quality of men who have won this award before me. Let me use this moment to ask a favor of you. Something happened in our country in the last few months. Last November, this country was given away to some of the most dangerous people to ever run for the presidency of the United States. We stand idly by in our division with others of like mind to us, to ours. Let me say to you, let us not happen, let that happen again. We have been given a reprieve, reprieved by a spontaneous development of what is called in the media Tea Party organizations. <laughs> the American Conservative Union is the big brother of the Tea Parties. You have an obligation as the big brother to guide little brothers. <laughs> it is said that they have no leaders. That's dangerous. Sheep without a shepherd, or at least guard dogs, are in trouble. <laughs> Bagella and the Clintonites are already gearing up 
a campaign to destroy them. We can preserve them because we need them, because America needs them. We don't need to dominate them. We don't need to order them. But we can give them our experience. We have been at this. The American Conservative Union has been at this for a long time. We have developed some skills. We are able to influence the, the Republican Party and nudge it and push it in certain directions. Let us teach those skills to our young brothers in the Tea Party movement. Amen. And, and let, let, in particular, help them to understand the history of third party experiences in America. The Teddy Roosevelt Bull Moose Party. The Republican Party in 1856 that did not win the election. Let us teach them about the disasters that took place in the Clinton-Bush campaign in our time. Let them make a decision and understand the importance of us winning together as a team. Not that we are going to convert them to all of the principles and of conservatism. Some of them are conservative, some of them are not. But they are people who have rebelled against a growing tyranny in our country. We can guide them and we can protect them. And together, we can change America from the disaster that nearly happened to us last year. Thank you. The John M. Ashbrook Award is presented annually at this conference jointly uh, by CPAC and by the Ashbrook Center. Ordinarily, the award would be read by Marv Prinsky of the Ashbrook Center, who couldn't be with us this evening because his wife is ill. Uh, so I'll take, the, uh, take his place and read the wording of this award. And I must say that in the years we've given it, I can't think of anyone who more embodies the meaning of these words than our friend Roy Innes. The Ashbrook Award is intended to recognize and honor individuals in politics and related fields who exemplify the ideals so splendidly upheld by the late John M. Ashbrook and so well symbolized by his career. These include integrity of thought and conduct, the knowledge of what is right and a determination to do right. They include a firm dedication to principles the conviction that politics must be based upon sound doctrines and noble objectives and not merely on winning elections. They include a rock-like conservatism based on a profound understanding of the nature of human beings and civil society and all their perils and possibilities. They include a determination to fight, alone if need be, for worthy goals. It is our hope that the Ashbrook Award will encourage others to follow the example of John Ashbrook and will serve to honor their achievements when they do so. We trust that its recipients will better understand from the honor in which we hold the memory of John Ashbrook our respect and admiration for them. There is no living American who I admire more than Roy Innes. Roy. Thank you so much for your great work and for the inspiration that you bring to each and every one of us. 
Well, tomorrow we have some dynamite programs that are going to continue in the Marriott and Maryland ballrooms. We have a mighty work in front of us for 2010. You're adjourned for the night, but you are not adjourned from the fight. We've got to make certain that we are focused on our conservative message in 2010. Thank you for joining us this evening.